So as we reach the end of this class, let's do a quick recap and see what Pods was able to allow us to do. To begin with, we were able to create a new content type called Books, and we we're able to add specific fields to it. And using the pod settings, we we're able to decide which WordPress features, such as comments or the main editor or categories or tags, we could use for our books content type. Then, using the templates feature in pods, we we're able to take the fields and the information for our new books content type, and we we're able to lay them out using just some basic HTML on a page so that when we went to the books content type and added new books, the fields that we created were automatically added to the page and they were laid out in the way that we wanted using just a few HTML tags. And then we could go back to the pods admin and we could create a new taxonomy. In this case, we created book genres and we were able to categorize and organize the books on our site according to history or technology or fiction or non-fiction. And then finally, using the pods shortcode, we're able to lay out our books using our own template again. And it was almost as if we had our own more sophisticated version of pages and posts, but customized for our site. In fact, that's a good description of what pods can do. It allows you to go beyond the fairly basic and fairly standard posts and page layout to create something that is unique and particularly useful for your site. I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope you enjoy using the pods framework.